We're now joined by head coach Mike Glick and Justin Faison of Gwynn Park High School. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And I want to talk a little bit about your background, Coach Glick. I think we were remiss if we didn't do that. Again, you kind of going through doing the research in your bio, kind of a who's who of some of the guys you've coached over the years. Uh, Rudy Gay and one of your stops, Jared Jack as well. And, of course, you put plenty of kids in a D1 ball from Gwynn Park. Do you have a special secret? Oh, just the special secret is uh, get kids that are motivated, uh, that want to do the work on the court and in the classroom. And I've been blessed. I've been blessed through my career to have some great, great players and now to have another one in uh, Justin Faison. Justin, we're going to go with the Mutual Admiration Society. I'm sure there's a lot you like about Coach Glick. What's the best thing about playing for him? The best thing is that he always has faith in you no matter how many mistakes he might do. He's just going to say, next play, and expect you to do what you do best, which is put yourself in the best position to succeed. Well, obviously, it's doing pretty well as you guys got a pretty good program. We're going to talk more about that program coming up right after this. Hello, everybody, and welcome to an all-new season of Top Plays here at AllMetSports.com and WashingtonPost.com. I'm BJ Kubarulis. All right, like the previous three seasons, we're continuing our exciting interactive high school basketball show, a show that allows you, parents, coaches, players, and fans, to send in your video submissions for ranking in our Top 10-style weekly show. Each week, We'll reveal the latest highlights, dunks, sweet assists, and bizarre happenings from across the region. All you gotta do is tweet me the link. I'm at BJCoob, and remember, you gotta hashtag it, all Mets. You can send in your huddle, YouTube, Vimeo, really any video link, and we'll consider it for use in the upcoming episode of Top Plays. Remember to tune in every Monday to see if your video made it at allmetsports.com. We'll see you soon. We're back with Mike Glick and Justin Faison of Gwynn Park High School. Coach, let's get into last year. You guys got to the state state semifinals. You lost a lot. Can you make another run at that uh, point in the uh, playoffs again this year? Well, I definitely think we can make a run. Our, our league is brutal. Our region is brutal. So we just feel if we can uh, somehow get out of the region, we'll do very, very well. Um, we won't be the odds-on favorite this year, but I really like our team. Um, we've got a lot of kids that can do a lot of different things, and we have a lot of camaraderie. So I definitely think we can make a run, but it will be hard. Of course, a key to that is going to be the guy next year. Talk a bit about Justin's game. Yeah, Justin's just a phenomenal player for us. He does it all. Uh, first of all, he's a tremendous leader, and he's a tremendous point guard for us. Um, and he can score, and it's just unique to have a scoring point guard. Uh, and, and he's really, really gotten a lot better in terms of his athleticism and his strength and I give him a lot of credit for the work that he's put in and his best days are ahead of him. Justin I know a different role maybe for you this year same position but a different cast around you has coach told you anything you needed to work on coming into the year with this different group maybe around you on the court? Just work on trying to get the chemistry like I had with my last year guys like we all were a family and brothers and we're just trying to get that brotherhood with these new kids from like JV that had to move up so I'm trying to bring them in and take them under my wing and try to make another run. We'll get into those new guys in a second with Coach, but I want to ask you a question. Kind of looking back to your stats, boy, did you have some of your best games against some of the top competition? Douglas, you did really well against them, a top 10 team. Why do you play best against the best teams? It's just when the lights come on and some, something needs to happen, and I feel as though my team might not be getting the way it should. I try to take over it in the games, and it just happens always against the best teams at the best time. Well, that's what they say, big players make big plays and big games. Coach, you got some other players besides Justin. Who are some folks that are going to be contributing for this Yellow Jacket team this year? Yeah, we have a number of kids. We have some new players, some guys coming off the JV. Just quickly, uh, Kwame Freeland uh, is coming off our JV team along with Jaden Stonework, and they're both uh, two-year starters on the JV, and they're interior players, and they're juniors, uh, and they're both going to have a really good year for us. Um, we have a senior transfer, uh, Isaiah Coulter, that's a mid-high major Division I football player. He's a cousin of Aaron Parker, who played for us last year, so he'll be an impact player. Uh, and we have a player named uh, Rudy Jean-Pierre, that's actually from France, uh, that's a junior, that's, that's going to be an impact player for us. So we have some old faces, some new faces. Um, we also have some returning varsity players. Chris Belton has had a tremendous summer for us. He was a junior on the team last year, didn't get a lot of playing time, but he'll be our starting two guard this year. That's a very good mix of players there. Coach, let's get back in a little bit in your past because it is a storied one. You've been at private schools before. We talked about some of that before the, the cameras came on. What's different about being at Gwynn Park? 
Uh, you know, there's a lot that's the same, a lot that's different. I think the biggest difference is the whole recruitment side of things. Um, you know, we don't recruit at Gwynn Park. Uh, we just have to work with, uh, you know, who comes through the door. Um, you always have people moving in and out of the district. Um, I love Gwynn Park. It, it's a family type school. It's a family type atmosphere. And it's actually my 11th year there. So I've been there longer than I have in any of my other stops. Um, and, and, and the quality of basketball is exceptional. So I love it at Gwynn Park. And I really do think we can compete with the private schools. I really, really do, and I think that we have an opportunity to do that this year. We play Riverdale Baptist, we play Good Council. So I think that's great for our program to see how we stack up against some of those private schools. Justin, how fun is it to get a chance to measure yourself against maybe some of those more heralded schools? It's great to show everybody that private schools don't have the best athletes and that public schools can compete with those schools as well. And just to show everybody that it should be basketball is equal no matter where you play. And of course, you know, we know you like the spotlight, so it's going to be big for you. Coach, one last one for you. Um, you know, you've been at this for, for a little bit. Mm -hmm. What keeps the passion up for doing this? Oh, wow. It's, it's the closest thing to playing. I was a player my whole life, and it's the closest thing to playing that there is. And it's just you get rejuvenated every year, and every team's different. And it's just it makes you young being around young people, and there's nothing that I'd rather do in the world. And, and be around young people and coach and also teach and make a difference in people's lives. Well, you've been doing it for a while. Good job, Justin, you as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on high school basketball in the DMV, you can do it by checking out the Prep Zone every week at dmvstream.com.